All right, this is 4.1, Lesson 1, Testing Solutions for a System of Equations. Now, you notice that now that we have systems of equations, we actually have two equations, which is called a system. Um, this is actually very important if you're going into business, and there's a lot of higher math that uses this stuff. So it's not just some random algebra thrown at you. This is actually very practical for things much later, actually probably in your next math class. Now, when you're testing for a solution, right? When you have a system of equations, the solution not only works for one equation, but for both equations. So we're literally just going to plug in this x and this y into the equations. So we have the equation 2x plus y equals negative 1, and a second equation, x minus y equals 7. We're going to plug in the value 2 comma negative 5 for x and negative or for x and y respectfully and see what we get. So we take the first one, 2x plus y equals negative 1. And now we're going to plug in 2 for x, so it's 2 times 2 plus y, which is negative 5, equals negative 1. You'll notice that I used parentheses around the x and the y replacement, and I do that just as a reminder that's where I did the substitution when I look back through it. So continuing, we have 2 times 2, which is 4, plus negative 5 equals negative 1. 4 plus negative 5 is negative 1. So yes, 2 comma negative 5 is a solution to the system of equations. 2x plus y equals negative 1. But we also have to see if it works in the second equation. So my second equation is x minus y equals 7. We're going to replace x with 2. We're going to subtract from it, replacing y with negative 5. And we're going to see if it equals 7. So we get 2 minus negative 5 equals 7. Now, anytime I have a minus minus, I like to just make them both pluses. I'm taking away a debt. I'm taking away a negative. So 2 plus 5 is 7, and yes, it works. Now, some books, oh, sorry, check, yes, 70 exact. In some books, when we first write out the equation, that's the equation by itself. Once we plug in the values, we're really testing it out to see if it works. So you notice that I put a question mark over the equal sign here when I had the statement 2 times 2 plus negative 5 equals negative 1. Remember, that's a replacement for the x and the y. Similarly, I could put a question mark, and really, I'm testing to see if this is true. If it's true for both equations, then yes, that value that we tested, 2 comma negative 5, is a solution to the system of equations. Let's try it again. So I have the system 4x plus 2y equals negative 4, and 2x plus y equals 2. And I'm going to test out the point 3, negative 8. So I'm going to write out my equation 4x plus 2y equals negative 4. I'm replacing the x with 3 and I'm replacing the y with negative 8. And I am testing, question mark above the equal sign, if this is true. So 4 times 3 is 12. 2 times negative 8 is negative 16. And then I'm still not sure if that equals my negative 4. And yeah, 12 minus 16 is negative 4. So, so far, the point works. Let's see if it works in the second equation. So my second equation, 2x plus y equals 2. We're going to replace the x. We're going to replace the y with 3 and negative 8, respectfully, and test it out. Let's see. 2 times 3 is 6. And we're going to add negative 8 to that. And again, we're not sure if this equals. We're not sure if this equals. Let's see, 6 plus negative 8 is negative 2. And no, it does not equal. So 3 negative 8 is not a solution to the system 4x plus 2y equals negative 4 and 2x plus y equals 2. All right, in the next video, I'm going to talk about other possibilities, and I'm going to talk about it more in a generic form. But for testing out a system, it's as simple as plugging in the values.